Hello, it's Michelle here, and in today's video I'm going to talk about all the products I've used up. There's only a few. There's only a huge box full of stuff I've used up over the past, I want to say, like, year and a half or something. It's been a while, so let's get to it. There's a lot to go through. There's a lot of duplicates, though, so that should make things easy. Up and Up Witch Hazel from Target. I do really love this stuff. It's inexpensive and a very simple, gentle way to tone the skin. Also, a little tip, if you want to know how long it takes you to use up a product or how long it lasts, write the date you start using it on the side. That's what I have done, and then you can see about how long the product lasts you. And these last me about two months per bottle, in case you wanted to know. Okay, micellar water. I have one from Garnier and one from L'Oreal. They were very similar. If I had to choose one that I liked more, probably the Garnier one. This Garnier one is an all-in-one, removes makeup, even waterproof mascara. I actually don't even wear waterproof mascara, so why did I buy this? I don't know. Maybe I thought it would remove my regular mascara better. It seemed to do the job, because I don't remember it being horrible, but I liked both of these. These are fine. Maybe this one just slightly better. I don't know why. Just because you always hear about the Garnier Missler water, I guess. It's the one. It's the one. But yeah, they were both fine. I have three dry shampoos. The Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo, the Batiste Original Dry Shampoo, and an Herbal Essences Revitalize dry shampoo. This one, I remember it did not work as well as I thought it would. I was kind of disappointed. I'm like, nothing super bad about it, it just didn't work as well as I thought it would. Batiste, a classic dry shampoo brand. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. Nice. This one I like, it works fine, and it just smells really good. It is the cucumber and green tea. It smells good. I like good smells. This one, the labeling part has rubbed off quite a bit. This is the Formula 1006 Nighttime Hydrating Moisturizer Cream thing. I cannot remember everything about it because it's rubbed off. But I think it was, it was a blueberry something. Like blueberry kind of night cream. And it was fine. It was moisturizing. Good for night. I did enjoy that. It um, didn't irritate my skin, so that was nice. This pot of cream was from the Body Shop. I actually really loved this. It was really nice and simple and gentle. Good for sensitive skin. It's the Aloe Protective Restoring Mask. I actually use this as a mask only once or twice. I would use it as a moisturizer at nighttime most of the time. Like, I'd use it all over my face, on my neck, and it would just provide that intense moisture, <laughs> moisture my very dry skin needed every once in a while. It was good. I liked it. This is the Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser. I would use this to remove my makeup. I did not like this. I thought it was weird and gross most of the time. And it clogged up the drain in my sink, which provided for a very nasty, unclogging session of me having to, you know, like, stuff something down the drain, drag out all the nasty gunk, so I did not like that. If this works for you, great. If you're thinking about getting it, don't, because it's probably not worth it. So it's used to remove, like, cleanse and remove makeup, but I feel like it didn't remove makeup all the way, so that's not good. So I didn't love this. As you can probably tell. This is the Pink Chiffon Bath and Body Works lotion. Yes, it smelled good, and yes, it was good at moisturizing my body, so that's a winner. Really liked this. Two setting sprays, the NYX Matte Finish Spray and the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray. These were both good. I feel like this one made it last longer, and you could actually tell a difference, like more of a difference when you use this spray to set your makeup more than this one, but they were both fine. Oh my gosh, I wonder how many Fit Me concealers I have. I have quite a few. It's my favorite concealer. You've probably heard me talk about it before. It is just, it's so great. I love it so much. It works so well. Okay, I only have four in here. I'm surprised. I thought I'd have more because I go through these all the time. I can't quite remember how long one tube lasts me, but I want to say two months. I don't know why, but I feel like that's the right answer. So four Maybelline Fit Me concealers. I try to wipe every bit of product out of the tube. And I love it. I use it on my under eyes, I use it on my blemishes, and redness, and spots, and it's great. I have three more concealers I decided to try out one time. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser one. This one is good, I liked it, and I don't have any problems with it, but I could also just use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer under my eyes, and that was fine too, so. Um, yeah, I'll probably just stick with the Fit Me and not repurchase this again, but this one is good. I know I've purchased this multiple times in the past, but... I've moved on to just stick with my Fit Me concealer. This is the NYX HD Studio concealer. I did not like this concealer. It did not do a good job of concealing things, and it was a waste of my money. I tried to return it to Ulta, but I didn't buy it at Ulta, so... 
couldn't do that. I think I got it at Target or something. I've heard people rave about this, honestly, but it's not good, so don't buy it. This is the, um, the label's off a bit. I don't know what brand you are. Maybelline. This is the Maybelline, what was this? The Maybelline Highlight Slash Concealer Pen thing. This one was fine. I liked it. Still gotta love the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It's my all-time fave, but uh, why do I keep clicking this? I don't know. But this one was good. When I was out of Maybelline Fit Me Concealer for a few days, I used this instead, and it did the job. It, it did a fine job, but I'm not gonna repurchase it. Okay, I have six mascaras here. They're all different, so this should be fun. This is the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara. I really love this drugstore mascara. It's very good. I think it's because the wand is all spiky and cool, and I just think that's awesome. The wand makes this mascara just work really well. I really like it. This one I got as a little in a little sample pack. I think my mom actually gave it to me. Thanks, mom. So this is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. I remember really liking this mascara, and I only had a little sample, but it was good. I enjoyed it. Probably won't purchase it again just because drugstore mascaras are so good. But this one's good too. This is the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I think this was the birthday gift from Ulta for my birthday last year. Wow, this is very hard to open. Um, nothing memorable about it. Wow, the wand is so long. Look at that. You know, maybe it just wasn't a long enough time for me to have an opinion about it because it's just this tiniest little tube. Like, thanks Ulta. Thank you for your birthday gift. <laughs> No, it really is very generous of them. And, uh, but yeah, nothing memorable about it. This is the e.l.f. mascara. I thought I'd try out an e.l.f. one. I've never tried an e.l.f. mascara before. Um, look how much product they give you. Not very much. Nothing to rave about for this one. Didn't love it that much. Didn't last me a very long time either. Obviously. Such a small tube. Yeah, didn't love it. Not, not that amazing. The classic Maybelline Great Lash Pink and Green Tube. Great mascara. Great price. And this is the Lights, Camera, Lashes, Tarte Mascara. It's been a very long time since I've been done with this. <laughs> this one I remember being fine. I feel like it got clumpy really fast, though. Like, it got clumpy in the tube and you take it out on the wand and it's all clumpy and you don't want that. But it could just be because it was a smaller sample size that came with a set of eyeshadows and blushes and stuff. So that could have been it. Maybe the full size one doesn't get clumpy as fast, but this one did get clumpy and that's not what I really wanted it to do at the time. Two felt tip eyeliner pens. I have the Maybelline Master Precise one with a little felt tip like that. And then the Revlon Colorstay Liquid Eye Pen. Looks like that. As you can tell, the Revlon one is a little bit thicker, which is a little trickier to use when you want to do a thin, like, wing on your eyeliner. So I do like the Maybelline one more. I repurchased this one rather than the Revlon one. And the tip of this one is just so tiny and thin that it just does a great job at doing the wing or just doing a line of eyeliner on the top of your lashes, and I just really liked that. Oh, I found another mascara! This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, and this one's a great mascara too. I forgot the wand looks so weird. So it's got like this curve in it, so you can really plump up those lashes. And this mascara was great. I did like this mascara. I have two daytime moisturizers. This is just the Up and Up Sensitive All Day Moisturizer with Sunscreen. And this is the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion from Clinique. This one does have sunscreen in it, so I'm not surprised it did this, but it just did that, like, sunscreen settling thing in your skin, like, around the edge of my face, I noticed it, where it just, it just looks like dry sunscreen, kind of, so that's what this one did. And this Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion from Clinique was actually really good. I'm sad I only had a little tube to try out. I want to get the big bottle of it eventually. Um, but yeah, it was really great. Really enjoyed this moisturizer. Some nighttime moisturizers. I liked all of these. They were all good. So first, this one I've been done with the longest. I think it's been months and months. Probably over a year. So this is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. It's just in this little bottle, it's got a little dropper, and you just use a few drops every night, and this was excellent. Very good. Really liked this. It just moisturized your skin, it seemed to just heal your skin. This is very expensive, but it's very good. This is the Crude Everything Oil. I love this oil, it's so nice. I would use this as a nighttime moisturizer, and the oil just moisturizes the skin so well, it's so amazing. And so for anyone with dehydrated, sad, thirsty skin, use this. This is the Botanics, Botanics? Botanics? This is the Boots Botanics 100% Organic Facial Oil with Nourishing Rosehip. Loved this oil. I think I bought this at Target, so available at the drugstore. 
and wait, that might be a lie. Maybe it was Ulta. Can't remember. No, I feel like it was Target. Anyway, so this was a great moisturizing oil. I would use this at nighttime to moisturize my dehydrated dry face. Have you heard about my dry face? The skin is dry. This oil did a great job at moisturizing my skin. It just made it a lot, a lot more comfortable and happy to have the oil on my dry, dry face. This bottle's a little dirty. The Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Overnight Face Oil. This was another great oil I would use on my face at nighttime. Just soaking in that moisture every night on my face. Loved it. It was great. This one, I know I purchased a Target. Two tubes of the Up and Up 10% Benzoyl Peroxide Gel. I know I've used many more tubes of this, but I just threw them away. These managed to get in my empties box. So I love this Benzoyl Peroxide Gel. It works really well to calm spots, calm acne, make the redness go down, make the bump flatten, and it gets rid of bacteria in your spots. It's great. I love this. <laughs> These are the bottoms of the Neutrogena Stress Control Cream Wash. I love this facial wash. What's it called? Face wash? Cleanser! <laughs> I love this cleanser. It's so good. It does a great job at really feeling like your skin is clean but not stripping it of absolutely everything that makes your skin skin. So like I would use this, my skin would feel clean but it would also feel moisturized and happy. Not tight or dry or sad. <laughs> so, and I cut the tops off just so I could dig in there with my little fingers and get every last drop of this cleanser because I really loved it. I know I've purchased this more than just these two bottles here. This is a great cleanser. I will be repurchasing this in the future. <laughs> two setting powders. I have the Maybelline Master Fix Loose Powder and then the Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder from Rimmel. Uh, I like the Rimmel one more. This one was okay. I didn't, I don't like the, the loose powder thing. I just, it was messy and I feel like I lost a lot of products so I, it, it just is not my favorite. But I love Rimmel. I love this Rimmel powder. This is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Primer. This one was fine. Nothing spectacular about it. Actually, when I first started using it, I think it irritated my skin a little bit. For some reason, I kept trying to use it, and I got used to it, I guess. But when applying this, it just kind of felt like I was putting on another layer of moisturizer. I still use the whole thing, though, so joke's on me, I guess. Okay, I have five foundations. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous Foundation. Really liked this one. This foundation just gave your skin a really nice finish after it was applied and, like, set on your skin for a while. I really liked that. This is the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Your Skin But Better. Really loved this stuff. Smells like pine salt, which is weird, but it is really great. It really does make your skin look better. Very expensive, but if you want your skin to look better, use this. The Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. I really liked this. I remember using this one summer, like the whole summer, and I just really enjoyed it. It provided the moisture my skin needed. How many times have I used moisture in this video? I don't know. I don't want to know. But it made my skin look better than it normally does. My face just really liked it, and it was nice that it has some sunscreen in it, so that's great. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation. This is a great foundation. Works very well with the Fit Me Concealer, of course, and I liked it. It seemed to last me all day, and it was comfortable to wear on the skin. Actually, a lot of these were comfortable to wear on the skin. Like, yeah, they were good. This is the CoverGirl 3-in-1 Foundation. It is supposed to have the lasting power of primer, coverage of a concealer, and blendability of a foundation in one. Shine free. And yes, this is really great. I really do like this foundation. It does all those things, I feel like, and it just looks really good on the skin, and it's comfortable to wear, and it's got sunscreen, and yeah, it's good. This is a bag of Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution for Relax and Relief. <laughs> oh, this is the Eucalyptus and Spearmint Salts, and I would use this in the bath, and it was really nice, and it smelled fresh, and it was relaxing to be in the bath with this stuff, so yeah, Dr. Teal's, good stuff. They say... But on the back, let, let's talk about the directions for a second. On the back it says, pour at least two cups of Dr. Teal's Epsom salt under warm running water in the bath. You don't need two cups. Don't use two cups. You don't need two cups. But yeah, it was great. I liked it. So that's the end of the products I've used for the last many, many months. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Do at least one thing every day that makes you happy, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Not your mother's. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, it's intensive treatment with prebiotics.
And this dramatically different moisturizing lotion. <laughs> Daily Hydration Overnight Face Oil with Coconut Milk and Acacia Senegal. I don't know how to say that. I have two tubes of the 10% Benzoil, Benzoil of the Neutrogena Stress Control. Stress Control. I need a leave like right now. And it's nice that it has my face. It's a bubble in my throat. And I do like this mountain. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff!